you know, I'm thinking like this, man. A lot of guys, they take rejection too seriously because they don't realize that, you know, rejection happens to everybody. You know what I mean? Right, right, They're scared right. to holler at girls because they think that them getting rejected is something personal on them. They think that the world is over. They think, like, I'm, I suck. I'm, I'm not a good guy. I'm ugly. She doesn't want me. Right. So, you know, they, they let rejection really, like, get to them. And I always tell guys, you know, rejection happens to everybody. If you haven't gotten rejected or you're not getting rejected, you're basically not talking to women. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, so exactly. it's, it's something true. that, you know, you know, needs to go down. What, what y'all think about that? Thing? Well, I, I kind of think that, as you said, with rejection, mm -hmm. it's going to happen. But... Right. You know, it's not about the times that uh, someone turns you down. It's about the successes because for it's it's like sales. You're going to have uh, parts of you when you know you get turned down a right. little, or but it's not even a turned down thing. It's nothing personal. Right. Maybe they're in a position or they're in a spot where they're not in that mindset. Maybe right. they don't. You know, maybe their aunt died, or maybe they have something else on their mind. Right. So it's not something to take personally. Mm -hmm. It's just that at that point in time, they could be thinking about other things. Right, right. You know, and maybe if you caught them the day before, or you caught them a week ahead, you know, then they're in a totally different mind frame. Right. And they're more open, they're more friendly. So, you know, sometimes it just depends on, you know, where they are in their life or at that moment. So, yeah, it's, it's nothing to take personal. Right, right. Well, true. I don't, even, I don't even look at it as rejection. Right, right. Because, you know, when, when I was real younger, I talk about this all the time, I used to be real shy. And you know, I used to have a lot of trouble talking to women. Right, right, right. But, um, you know, over time, when you, got to, when you have more confidence in yourself, when you talk to a female, and if she ain't feeling you, if you know you're 100% confident in yourself, right. it's not rejection. Right, Usually right. I'm like, maybe she just had a bad day. Mm, yeah. Or, you know, maybe she might not like dudes. You know, it, might, <laughs> it, might be, it might be whatever. So so I think I think the key to um, relationships and really getting a lot of ladies to really look at you is just the fact that you have to realize it's if you're putting out the right aura and the right vibe and mm. she ain't feeling that vibe, right. that's cool on you. Right, you know right, what I mean? Because right. she's filtering herself out. So you just have to keep the game flowing. Right. You know? So yeah. I don't even really look at it as rejection. It's the same thing with sales, you know. Not every person is a is a receptive buyer. Right. Some people right. don't have the money. Some right. people don't have the need for the product, and that's cool. Right. You know right. what I mean? So, I enough with that R word. I don't even put that out there. I'm right. like, look, if you feel rejected, mm. that's usually an issue with self confidence. If mm. you have your confidence in check, you're straight. Right. And I, yeah. and you know, a funny thing is, I look at the, you know the whole thing about rejection as a good thing because if I'm right. if I'm talking to you. And, and, and it's not working out, that's good. I could move on, I could go to another girl where, where this shit is gonna actually like, you know, click. So I think a lot of guys, they, 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 they look at, first of all, your life should be fulfilled and, and, and you should be right with yourself mm -hmm. with whatever you're doing in your life. Mm -hmm. So you talking to a girl and it not working out should be nothing. Right, you understand right, what I'm saying? Right, That's exactly, nothing to, to the exactly. whole, you know, aspect of your life and what you're about and what you're trying to do. So I always tell people, you know, rejection you not you can't look at it as something that is is a, is a bad thing you have to look at it as something that you can also learn from notice that this is part of the game and then you know continue to really do your thing and then actually find girls you connect with you feel yeah, what i'm exactly. saying yeah exactly you know yeah, exactly. because yeah not everyone is for everyone right not everyone is for everybody right so Absolutely. you know it's one of those things where i if i meet a woman and you know we're talking and everything and that man-woman dynamic isn't there, I don't take that personal. Right. Because if she's married, if she has someone else, that's something that I can't control. Right. You know, I don't know where she is in her life. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't take that personal. Right, right. Uh, it's just one of those things where you see someone, you're interested, you're curious, it's like tasting food. You, know? <laughs> you, you, you taste something, you, you, you look at it, it may look good. Right. You taste it, eh, it may not taste it. it, it and it might it be looks. bad chicken, you know right, what right, I mean? Right, it right. might be pigeon, you know? <laughs> right, right. So, you, you know, know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. 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 We, we gotta, and I think just in general, just men in general, just, just having more game and more confidence, right. we have to flip things. It's not always about auditioning for a part exactly. in her play. Exactly. We have Thank to look you. at it as, Thank like, you. 
she's, Thank she's you. auditioning in our play. Right. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, like we, we need to stop all of this. Well, oh, I'm trying to get with her. Right. Like, look, she's auditioning to be spot on your team. Right. You know right. I mean? right. 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 Yes. So that's the yes. bottom line. Definitely. That's how we have to look at exactly. it. Exactly. Definitely. You know, it's one of those things where I often say, and, and men don't realize the power that they have, the fact that if you are articulate mm -hmm. and intelligent, you are the one that uh, is, let's say, it, there, there's more of them than there is of us. There you go. When there you, you go. are articulate, intelligent, you're on your purpose, mm -hmm. you know who you are, right. and you're confident, that's something that you have above so many other men. Exactly. And exactly. it's something where, for women, they appreciate that. So if this one doesn't, there's certainly going to be someone that does. Listen, on August 31st, it's going down. The seminar of the century, it's called Manhood and the Game Seminar. I'm going to be speaking there. Also, we got dating coach Royal Flyness and also dating coach Telly coming through. Make sure you guys come through. It's going to be crazy because right now, if you guys did not know, if you did not realize, there is an attack on manhood right now. There's a lot of bitch ass shit going down, a lot of bitch ass dudes out there doing nonsense, right? So basically, what we're going to learn at this seminar, what you're going to learn when you get there, is we're going to be talking about how to value yourself as a man. We're going to be talking about how to attract beautiful women. We're going to be talking about, you know, how to get your money right, how to get your business right, how to stay focused on that. You know, it's so, it's so many things that you're going to learn at this seminar. But what you got to do now is you have to click the link below to get your tickets, okay? Tickets are on sale now, and we have tickets for five bucks. That's, you know, so come on. You guys get it, got to get the $5 tickets now. You, you have no excuse as to why you're not going to be there, okay? We got some more, you know, tickets that are more expensive. So you, if you miss out on the $5 deal, you're going to have to get the more expensive tickets. So go click the link below right now and get your tickets ASAP. Space is limited. I want to see everyone there, okay? All right, so if you got any questions, hit me up at askmrlocario at gmail.com, and I will see you guys in New York City, August 31st, and it's going to be in Times Square, man, okay? So you guys come through and check it out and make that happen, all right? So I'm out of here. Your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game. The truth is inside you. Peace.